something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. I hope you can see me. I'm going to stand back up here. This is something I wanted to show off. You may recall I showed off a uh, borescope or endoscope before. This is another one to replace the one I unfortunately smashed into small pieces while backing a car over it. I was checking out an EVAP leak and uh, was trying to find the channel, the EVAP hose channel, and laid it on the ground, forgot all about it, backed over it, smashed it to pieces. So this is its replacement. It is model number ACG-430. And it works. It's nice. Comes in a nice package here. I'll show you the package. I already opened it up, but I figured I'd go ahead and show it off to you here. There it is. Anyway, this is an ND, a HD endoscope, and these things are used for a variety of stuff, plumbing and electrical and construction work. But today, the reason I'm using this is to check the engine out on my new Volkswagen uh, Rabbit engine build. So I got that little pickup truck. I built an engine over the winter and this, we're just checking it out. We're just checking it out. So let's go ahead and take this thing over. I'll pull the plugs out and we'll see how well it works. It does have some cool features. You got the lights here. You can turn those down or up and you know, I can take photos as you just saw, click, click, right? Or I can zoom in on things, right? If I want to get a better look at stuff. So it does a lot of stuff and it also records. I can record. There it goes. It started recording. So I can record video if I wanted to play that back for a customer or something like that. So pretty cool stuff. Anyway, let's check it out. So when you're working on engines, there's a variety of things we can look at to see if we have a potential problem. The very first thing you want to look at as far as spark plugs go is the burn. How is the burn? Are they lightly brown like these are here? Are they black and sooty, indicating oil burning or excessive fuel consumption? There's a variety of things you can look at just by pulling the plugs out and keeping them in order to get an idea if there might be problems brewing inside your engine. If anything, I would say these look beautiful. Not a ton of miles on them. Maybe a little lean, but pretty much right what you want to see. Okay, well, let's go ahead and turn on our machine again here. And let's stick this down in here and take a look at the cylinder walls and see if we can here what we got. Hopefully, you'll we'll be able to see this. Oh, yeah. There's our valves, looking up in there. See, that right there is a beautiful view of our valves. And we move farther down and we get into the engine. And I'm looking at this and I'm seeing, yeah, very nice. Hopefully this shows up, I don't know how close I can get it with, with turning it, but. That's a picture of the head and the cylinder wall right there moving together. And you can see, yeah, there are lines up and down there. That's okay. That's normal up and down motion. If I were to take a rag and wipe it out, you'd see the cross hatch still in there. But I'm not seeing, um, you know, gouges. I'm not seeing anything really that spooks me. There's our valve again. All right. Okay, let's pull it out of that one. There's our another valve. See how clean that is? Hopefully you can see this stuff. I'm, I'm hoping you can. So we're looking for big gouges, no gouges. Everything looks nice, right? And there's our valve faces. We're looking for damage to the valve or burning. Everything is beautiful and clean right there. There's an open valve, right? You can see in there. Pretty nice, actually. All right, let's go in that one. This cylinder is almost all the way up, so all we can really see is the valve on that one. So I'll have to rotate the engine, but here we go. Here's another one down here. There's our valves. A little bit more, a um, little more soot on that one. So in that, that, if you look at that plug, that's a little darker than, than the rest. So it could indicate maybe unequal compression. In this case, what we're looking at probably is um, a problem with the intake manifold or something like that. But nothing. I'm not worried. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I hope. Hope that comes across. But yeah, the cross hatching still looks lovely. Everything looks really clean. I'm liking it. I'm liking what I see. 
So anyway, that is the endoscope. That's what you get if you buy a boroscope, endoscope. Um, and again, I'm using it for engine use, but you can use these things for anything, man. They really are great for, um, you know, plumbers, electricians. You want to see in a wall, see what kind of damage you have. You want to catch, how about an attic that doesn't have an access port? You can poke a, a, t a pinhole. Look at how small that is, far thinner than a pencil. Run this up and take a look around. This kit also does come with, and uh, it comes with attachments. So these mirrors allow you to look up, look left, look right. These are pretty common to have this kit now. So there you go. That's it for today, my friends. I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, perhaps think about liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Take care.